Shabbat Shalom, brothers and sisters. This is the Igor, and you are on a Russian Hebrew Christian channel on YouTube. And thank you so much, first of all, for your prayers, for your partnership, for your financial support of our ministry. That by God's grace and mercy, we could continue to spread the word of God here in America, in Canada. Even Canada is closed right now, but <clears throat> we'll still have blessings. We'll still be blessed. Continue to share this wonderful news. I'm talking now about our beautiful country, United States. You feel my accent. Maybe you are first time on my channel, but we have a lot of videos in English as well. Even we are Russian speaking people, but we love this country. I love this country where God sent us and bless us that we as a Christians could be salt and light, that people could see Jesus through our life. Especially that I remember my life. I born in Jewish Muslim family, grew as a Muslim myself. I used to live in Israel for a while, but in Canada, God sent some people who witnessed to us about Yeshua, Jesus. And I received my Bible, which I start to read. And God gave me mercy. God blessed me, gave me faith to see myself that I'm a sinner, to see a great need and that Jesus, in the Jesus, and that Jesus is the Lord who died for my sins as well and rose from the grave. And I am Christian and I'm blessed because Jesus is only the way to be saved. And I believe I'm a true Jew. And I believe to be more Jewish, believe in Jesus. Also, if you're Chinese or you Japanese or you're Russian or you whoever you are, only in Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior, we could become true Jewish people, spiritual Jew, like Abraham. We are his children, the spiritual, we are his children because he was the true Jew. And only in Christ Jesus, we could become true Jewish people. But we continue praying for Israel because through Israel, God blessed all of us to be one in Christ. And I believe, yes, we have a great debt just in the name of Jesus toward the people of Israel to pray for them, to share gospel to them first, according to Romans 16. And it's our privilege to become a part of God's great work on this earth when we could share wonderful news. Do good work in the name of Yeshua. Have a compassion for people because if they die without Christ, they die forever. And the Bible is very clear about this, that we have only one name under heaven through whom we could be saved. And the name is Jesus Christ, our Lord. Brothers and sisters, just a short testimony. And you're going to watch this short video. You also could find another video about the work in Orlando, I'm still being in Orlando. We just finished an outreach in uh, Yola Lake, I believe the name of the place in downtown Orlando and God bless us, but you could watch by yourself what happened. But we also have a, a lot of videos, as I mentioned, uh, we have a lot from different cities, different uh, states. Uh, uh, we just returned back from San Francisco. Maybe you watched this video when uh, uh, dog attacked me, people, with that person there, they were possessed. I say, they probably, a dog also was possessed with uh, um, the owner of the dog, but God protected me. And I believe in the power of the blood. But what is uh, interesting that police there decided to not be involved. Security decided to not be involved. But it's a San Francisco, it's not surprising me. Anyway, some people say you, that I could sweet, take to the court, the police department of San Francisco, even city. But no, it's not for me, at least the, right now. Anyway, God protects and he provides. Let's trust in the Lord. It's a great blessing even when 
we do not understand different things may happen even in our personal life. But this is end times we live. And we could continue to use this opportunity even in this country until we not really are persecuting. Persecution going to come. But level of persecution is different. But even here in America, I believe, will be persecuted. Even now, Jesus said, everyone who wants to live as a righteous will be persecuted. Also, I want to encourage you to pray more for America. I love this country. I say this. We pray. We need to pray for president, whoever will be. It's not going to change anything in our faithfulness. Trusting in the Lord and be faithful as a God's servants. And let's remember that this is a, this world. This, this, these politicians wish you to continue be light and salt as a Christians. Yes, we have our positions, but let's do not forget that this is this world. And our kingdom not on the earth. And earth is not our final home. Our kingdom in heaven. And our king is only Lord Yeshua, Jesus Christ. So let's pray for America. And do not make America great again, but let's bring America to repent again. To repent again by God's mercy. You know what the Bible says about the proudness? God hates proud people. God hates proudness. And the devil, the evil one, he was the first who became proud. And we know what happened. But who is humble? God gives his grace to this person. So let's think more by praying for this nation, for America. Praying that America, people, this nation, come and repent. Because unfortunately, spiritual condition in this country, which I love very much and I know that you love very much, it's just a horrible. But we rejoice even for one soul, because even one soul is important for the Lord. So what happened after when we finished it in uh, Yola Lake, we went to Starbucks coffee shop. I especially go there. You know, they, they support, uh, very supportive of uh, LGBT. And uh, we met three people there, workers, and God blessed. They all accepted New Testament, praise God, after our testimony. And we especially go there. Some people, even our Slavic people, say that they do not go there because they support LGBT. They don't want to spend money there. But I always remind about Jesus. He especially went to the places where need, 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 needed uh, to help, uh, uh, to let people know about this sin, uh, that they could repent, that their souls would be saved. Jesus especially went there. Let's do not think that we as a Christians, as a saved people, we are better than others. Absolutely not. If God saved us by his mercy, so we especially go to these places and we preach the gospel. We pray for people. And God bless these three people, three persons, accepted New Testament. After that, uh, we went to the uh, Disney Springs here in Orlando. So you're going to watch this uh, very short, please watch one minute plus something, very short video. What happened? We decided to ask first a permission. I mean, like to ask if we allowed to preach the gospel inside. I've been here many, many years ago. I had a vocation with my uh, dear wife. And uh, I remember the place where so many people, but even now as a quarantine, we saw thousands there. Thousands. Yeah, they're checking the fever before. Uh, they allow them to enter. But we asked a person there, security, he called another security guard. I mean, like, not security guard, but a manager. And he came and asked us what we want. I say that we want to preach the gospel. I say, I'm not going to use the amplifier 
We have a like First Amendment of the Constitution, free speech, and he called. Could you imagine? This person called this as a solicitation. I tried to explain to him. I understand that first of all, if the prior place, I understand that who owns this, they owns this, they have their own policy. But the issue is that 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 that, that this place also public. Even Disney owns, uh, it's a public because the people, the pedestrians are there. Probably, yes, I should to get a permission, but the problem became that these men call this as a solicitation breach in the world. And I tried to explain to him that I'm not advertising any businesses. It's not solicitation, it's a sharing word of God. And I mentioned to him that we are recording everything and I asked him his name. Because we're going to verify, we're going to check. But the problem, another problem came that he became so angry and he almost ran from us by <laughs> not saying his name. Is it legal? He he needed, he, he officially, he was in a uniform. He's official. And he needed to tell us his name. If I'm asking, he needs to provide his name. It's what's going here, unfortunately. It's not just because this Florida, Orlando, even it's like people say, oh, it's a Republican state. Uh, you know, I already mentioned that I don't want to be involved in a, in a politic. People are people, unfortunately. When live, they live in sin, when they hate the Lord Jesus Christ, and unfortunately, they hate the Lord Jesus Christ. So America needs to repent. May the Lord bless you. And thank you so much again for your prayers, for your partnership. Please continue to pray for us, for my family, for my children, for the ministry. And if God going to lead your heart to learn more about us, there in the description, you could find a little bit more information. Maybe going to you, God going to lead your heart to support the ministry. But first, please continue to pray for us. May the Lord bless you and keep you. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are on a channel of Евангелие в последнее время. We say this in Russian. But the English version is a Russian Hebrew Christian. Shabbat Shalom. Praise God. Amen. Да, а вот это Спрингс, и они сейчас идут, будет записано, посмотрим, что нам скажут, разрешат или не разрешат. Ну что, поехали или пройдем внутрь? 